So Motorola has a flagship device called the Moto Edge Plus. Yo, you know we have to do some gaming, so let's find out. Hey guys, Thunder E here, and I got to check out the Motorola Edge Plus in Chicago before MWC. So I wanna thank Motorola for flying us down to go check out the device. Now, this is the device we've been waiting for from Motorola. It's a flagship device, comes with a 6.7 inch um, Full HD Plus display, 90 hertz refresh rate, so you've got that fast refresh rate on there. Now this display has a 21 by nine aspect ratio, and it's got a 90 degree curved edge, kind of similar to what we did with the Mate 30 Pro from last year. But that curved edge gives you a lot of functionality. So they're built in some edge lighting, you can use it for some gesture controls, like of course, uh, double tapping or tapping on it to switch between your applications. You can also go ahead and of turn that edge screen off within applications, of course. On the home screen, it still stays the same. But for me as a gamer, the ability to use it as trigger buttons for your shooters, right? your L and R buttons, and you can remap that uh, all the way through and set it the way you want. But of course, we will get into some gaming in a second. What, what kind of specs do you have with this? It's got a Snapdragon 865, 12 gigs of RAM and 256 gigabytes of UFS 3.0 storage, standard. That's what you get with this device, plus a 5,000 milliamp battery. Now, Motorola says this has the best speakers. Uh, they had an Oscar winning uh, team who did some tuning, some movie, and uh, you're gonna hear how well the speakers sound themselves. Now, it also has a headphone jack, by the way, so that's also something that's pretty cool. And there are a ton more features, but let's take a look at some gameplay with Call of Duty Mobile and PUBG. Uh, PUBG will try to max out the settings for you, so you guys can see how well this bad boy really performs. Do you think it's better or worse than the standard? No, I prefer playing with triggers. It's easier for me. Yeah. Ah, good.
You want to just continue? Yeah, just continue. Just All right. Look, it's a flagship device. It runs the A65. It looks like it games well, and the triggers also are quite responsive. I do like their uh, game center um, application, which allows you to map your controllers. I wish it had more things in there, like of course, maybe your temperatures, your frames per second. Of course, you can set your display to either 60 hertz or 90 hertz, or you can do it, it does it automatically for you, depending on what application you use. Now, the other thing about this device, so it also comes with that massive 108 megapixel sensor. So it's got a big sensor at the back. Uh, the camera has OIS built into it, an eight megapixel telephoto. You've got 60 megapixel ultra wide. The front facing camera is 25 megapixels. Now that rear camera also shoots at 6K as well. And you talked about improved, um, you know, low light photography and things like that. Now just to pack everything all together, you've got 15 watt turbo charging, uh, 15 watt wireless turbo charging. You've got five watt reverse wireless charging as well. So they packed in a lot into this device. Now it comes in either thunder gray, because you know, of course, thunder you would like that and smoky sangria uh, and they haven't given us a date on the device yet but if they do it's be on screen here for you pricing would be 999 in the us exclusive to verizon and of course it will be out uh, in other regions uh, as they see fit so there you have it that is the motorola edge plus let me know what you think you've seen the gaming performance you see all the kind of specs it's stacked with what do you think about this device? Leave your thoughts down below. Don't forget to like, share, and always enjoy your entertainment.